I mentioned in a previous video that every permutation can be written as a product of two cycles. I further mentioned that the way you could write it as a product of two cycles was not unique. There could be, in fact there definitely are, multiple ways of writing the same permutation as a product of two cycles. However, even given that those representations are not unique, there's an important property there. If a permutation can be written as a product of an even number of permutation a number of two cycles then every representation as a product of two cycles must use an even number of two cycles. So, if I have, for example, the permutation 1, 3, 7, 4, 2, we talked about that we could write this thing as 1, 3, 1, 7, 1, 4, 1, 2, going right to left. Obviously there's four two cycles. Now there's other ways this thing can be written as a product of two cycles, but no matter what, it's always going to have an even number of two cycles. Now, I wrote this all up in terms of an even number of two cycles. It's the exact same thing, just replacing even with odd. If it can be written some way as a product of an odd number of two cycles, then every way it can be written as a product of two cycles must use an odd number of two cycles. What this allows us to do is we can classify our permutations as even or odd, based on the number of two cycles in a representation. A couple of important ones here. Obviously, the identity is an even permutation. We could write that thing as zero two cycles, though it might be easier to see if we wrote it as something like one, two, two, one. Then those things cancel each other out. We got two two cycles, so it's definitely even. Similarly, any the thing that's just a two cycle is an odd permutation. A single two cycle, obviously one's an odd number, so it's an odd permutation. There are lots of things where knowing whether a permutation is even or odd helps us do something. However, one important thing is that the subset of even permutations in SN is a subgroup. Certainly, the set of odd permutations couldn't be a subgroup 
because an odd permutation times an odd permutation is going to give you an even permutation. But it turns out that the set of even permutations is a subgroup. And in fact, it's a, so, such an important subgroup, we're going to give it a name. We're going to call it the alternating subgroup. And we're going to call it A. And 